In this video, we'll learn the secrets to managing people around you. Congratulations, you're the boss. It's an important career step, but the reality is you are now responsible not only for managing your own time, but that of those people reporting to you. Regardless of how well you do your job, if your team isn't supportive, you are wasting time and manpower. It's not surprising that studies have found that the most important thing to employees is job satisfaction. They need to know what they do matters. If they feel unappreciated, they will not work at their full potential, which means they are wasting both your and their own time. Employees who are satisfied with their jobs will remain loyal, which means there will be less turnover and less wasted time spent training replacements. Retaining talented workers is one of the best ways to manage your own time. It is the satisfied employees who will go the extra mile in getting work done on time and solving problems, thus freeing you up to do your own tasks. They are also the least likely to be negative complainers. As we have discussed, negativity sucks needed time out of the workplace. Office politics. As the boss, you need to stem politics at the office. This means avoid having favorites and creating jealousy among the ranks. Be alert to staff members who continuously feel the need to feed you negative information about others, such as, the report would have gotten done on time if Mary hadn't been late. The problem here is probably less Mary and more the person who is bad-mouthing her. When you remain aware of employees trying to undercut each other, you can more easily put an end to the problem. Not all employees are created equal. Hopefully, each employee will have his or her own strengths and weaknesses. When handing out assignments, giving the right job to the right person can save a lot of time. If you aren't sure of your people's area of expertise, either make it a point of asking during the job interview or during private meetings. You want your staff to remain motivated. Employees who are able to fully utilize their talents work in a more time-effective way than those who are struggling with the task at hand. Be aware of the workload. People should work hard, but it's counterproductive to overburden them. This is especially true if a select few, perhaps your better workers, get the lion's share of work while the rest are allowed to work at an easier pace. Assignments should be distributed equally. If someone has problems handling the task, they need to know that they can come to you for help and clarification. This will keep them from procrastinating and doing something poorly at the last minute or making excuses for not doing the job at all. Create a positive environment. Your office is a workplace and should be professional, but a congenial atmosphere helps people be more productive. It also creates more open environment for better communication. For example, a Friday pizza delivery lunch for everyone in the conference room can help people relax. You may find out who's having problems outside the office, a sick spouse or child. Make things easier for him or her by not expecting too much overtime at such a point in time. Such an informal staff get-together also makes it easier for people to mention problems, if only in a joking way. Create new challenges. People can easily get bored with the same routine and simply lose interest. That translates into getting less done and more wasted time. Provide new challenges and opportunities for people to grow. An excellent way to open up the ideas for new opportunities is to use the informal Friday lunch get-together. Toss out the question. Anyone have any bright idea of how we can improve things around here? You might be surprised at the responses. Compensate your employees. Employees who are poorly paid will not work at their full potential, thus wasting the company's time and resources. While there is a need for fair financial compensation, there are other ways to keep employees satisfied. Give credit where it's due and watch that person become twice as productive. If you're unable to manage a bonus, a half day off once a month is another way to reward your staff for excellent productivity. Think about it. Why would someone work to their full capacity if they have no incentive? Find out how employees spend their time. Even your most diligent workers may be inadvertently wasting their time without being aware they are doing so. Have your employees track their time for two weeks and review their schedule. They may be spending too much time on the wrong task. Don't be afraid to delegate. 
If you feel you need to micromanage everything, you are not being productive. Much of your valuable time will be spent looking over people's shoulders and performing tasks that someone else could and should be doing. This is very bad time management. If you have surrounded yourself with loyal employees, it's smart to use them. Many managers feel that no one can do certain jobs as well as they can. That is limited thinking. If you offer your staff new challenges and train them correctly, it can free up a large chunk of your time that can be put to better use. Effective time management means knowing when to let go. Start delegating small tasks. As you become more comfortable, increase the responsibility. If you've been following the advice in this chapter, you should be more aware of your staff's strengths. Use that to your advantage and assign new tasks that fall within the range of their capability. Provide clear directions and let them do the work. Trust them to do the job, but do periodically check in and confirm their progress. Communicate your expectations. We've discussed delegating work to your staff, but be sure you communicate your expectations clearly. I need a financial report on XYZ company that is far too vague to be effective, and you will likely find yourself disappointed. When assigning a task, be very clear on what you need and when you need it. Confirm that the person is able to handle the task in the time frame provided. Then ask to be notified a day ahead of time in the event there are any problems. This should ensure that you will be provided with the necessary information when you expect it.